So in the last video, we looked at a little problem with dynamic link in that when we hit file, Adobe dynamic link, new Premiere Pro sequence, we get this nasty error that comes up because Premiere is acting as an Adobe dynamic link server, not After Effects. In order to use this feature over here, After Effects has to be the dynamic link server. So there's an easy workaround. We can go ahead and just close after Effects and we can also come into Premiere and close Premiere. Next I want to go ahead and open up After Effects. I need to start by opening up After Effects. So in here I'm going to go ahead and start a new process by going File, Adobe Dynamic Link, near New Premiere Pro Sequence and it lets me do it. What's going to happen is Premiere Pro is going to launch and it's going to let me create a sequence that can be edited with After Effects. So similar to what we did earlier on the first video, only we're starting with After Effects. So After Effects is currently the Dynamic Link server. I'm going to go ahead and open up this new project that's going to open up automatically for me. I'm going to go ahead and just name it uh, Project 002. Hit OK. And now I get another screen pop open that lets me create a new linked sequence. So I can add video. If I want to make a change, I can come back here in After Effects, make a change over here. It'll be affected over here. Whatever I change over here will be affected over here. Just a different workflow. I recommend starting with Premiere, but this is another way you can do it. Now let's take another example. Let's say you were working here and you had started off with After Effects as the dynamic link server and you decided to open up a project that you had initially started with Premiere as a dynamic link server. When you do this and you open it up, you're going to find something bad. Media offline. Since you started with Premiere on this project as a dynamic link server, it'll only work that way. After Effects is currently being the dynamic link server. So we're going to end up with this issue. A lot of folks will try to right click and they'll come in here to relink the media. It doesn't work. It's a dynamic server issue. So what you need to do is just close Premiere and close After Effects. By doing so, you reset the dynamic link server. And when we start again, we're going to start by turning on Premiere first. So I'm going to open up Premiere again and this time you'll see that these media issues are no longer a problem. So I'm going to open up my Project 01 again and it loads and once I get to my timeline I'll see that everything is back to the way it should be and the media is linked. So it's quite an easy fix. Just close everything down, I'm not talking about the whole computer, but close down Premiere and After Effects and everything will be fixed when you open it up again. Just remember which way you opened it first. If you started with After Effects, then you need to start with After Effects each time to make the dynamic link process work, and vice versa with Premiere. Dynamic Link's a great tool, and you can also use it with Encore, and it has a similar feature when you're working with Photoshop. 